Hi everyone, today I got a really cool video for you. As you can see, I have built an actual functioning apartment building in The Sims 4 with no mods or custom content, which means if you're on a console, you can download this from the gallery. My username is lcinsightsie. We're gonna go through it right now. So the first thing I did there was I just built the shape of the building to match this object from Live Debug. This apartment block object is from The Sims 4 Get Famous. I'm sorry, I'm doing it on my laptop, so that's why I'm looking down but I was basically trying to find the right building in that debug catalog that we could build an, apart an apartment building inside of. And the one from Get Famous was perfect. It had the right dimensions. It was actually built to, it was built to scale to fit in the tile system. But also, as you can see there, the walls are actually the correct height. The Sims team actually made it to scale. And I think what's a real game changer here, as you can see, is that the live placement of windows and doors on half tiles and being able to alt place them really made this possible. And as you can see, I managed to make it blend in quite well. Like it's not perfect, but I think it looks reasonably good. And just to make it look more interactive and less like a debug object, I'm play testing it there. There's even some foundation stairs outside. And as you can see, they can go in and out of the building. Like it works really well. And now we're putting the stairs in because obviously we don't have a proper elevator function in the Sims 4. But my idea is that obviously every apartment building has stairs in it for like the fire escape. And that's just what your Sim uses. The elevator functions and that every time you load into the lot they will spawn at the elevator which could be good for you I suppose it depends on what type of gameplay you like you can get rid of it if you don't want it and uh, it was also an excuse to use platforms I'm loving platforms in The Sims 4 and yeah I was really delighted with how it turned out another thing I really like about this by the way is that the rooms that you're not going to go into like the other apartments that belong to other people I kind of found a way to black them out I mean it's it's you have to lock the doors but like it's not intrusive. Something that was really important to me when I built this is that I didn't feel flimsy to play. I, I'm sure maybe some people have done this before. I don't know. I hadn't, I hadn't, I hadn't gone to YouTube. I just decided to do this one night. Um, I didn't want it to feel flimsy to play. And that's why I made a few design, design decisions that you just saw there. So on the second floor, we actually go in. We, we shrink the building by one square. You can see me putting black around it to kind of mimic the, um, the building has like these not balconies, but the building has like those things sticking out of it. So I kind of mimicked that on the second floor. The reason why we did that is because it's a live debug object. When you, if you, if you need to zoom in quite a bit for it to fade away. So by bringing everything in by one square, it's actually quite easy to play in. And that's what was really important. I didn't want to make a building that was really hard for people to play in. I want people to enjoy this and actually actually playing it like I really want it to be playable so for that reason I, I paid like a lot of focus to making sure that the areas that you shouldn't be going into like the other apartments that you lock the doors but also like, even when you're playing on the map you never you're never really noticing it that much which is why they're all painted black they have black flooring they're not lit they look like black it's kind of like the sims 3 remember how in the sims 3 in apartment buildings like apartments that don't belong to you they're, they're just black they don't, they don't render I was doing the best I could to make it not render Oh, do you see that square there in the center? That's the one square that had to be technically outside because otherwise the apartment building goes black because we we're building inside of it and we had to like break off the roof to make sure it still technically counts as outside. But the actual apartment building though is inside so you won't have any lighting issues. And then I was here kind of just doing the floor plan and that was kind of nuts and bolts of it. I mean, this is the first time I did this and I paid really a lot of focus on making sure the gameplay worked pretty well before the design. I don't I didn't want to put the design before gameplay. It was important for me that I put gameplay first. So it was really easy to build into. So this is just a, a simple one bedroom, one bathroom. It's quite expensive for one bedroom, one bathroom, which is why I'm calling it a fancy apartment. But for my second go, I really want to kind of almost make it a tiny home. I think I have a way to cheat it to make it like 32 or 64 tiles. And I'd love to do a, um, a starter version that's under 20,000. I do reduce the cost quite a bit. Everything you see in the lobby should be pretty cheap, if not free. I use a lot of debug objects, like um, the, the bushes and the trees and stuff should be like should be free, because I really wanted to reduce costs in the common area, because why should you pay for that? But because this is my first time going at it, I was really just getting acquainted with things like the floor plan. And on a technical level, I just really wanted this to work. I really wanted you guys to enjoy this. I'm super pumped by how well this turned out. If you stick to the end of the video, you're going to see gameplay. And like, you're going to see for yourself, the gameplay is quite good. Like it's actually really easy to play into. It's not flimsy. 
and I was really happy with how it turned out. As for packs you need, as you can see there, I took some objects from Eco Lifestyle. The only packs you really need are Get Famous, and yes, you will need um, City Living. But if you have those two packs, you should be able to place this. Yes, you're gonna probably miss a few pieces of the furniture, like I use some things from Tiny Living and Eco Lifestyle, but the actual structure of the building should be sound as long as you have uh, uh, get famous because that's the building that's where the building's from and then I think I used the doors and some stuff from uh, city living although I don't think for my next one you're going to need city living because I have to tell you I might get rid of those front doors like in the lobby because I'd love to make his apartment door the front door and the reason why we can't do that as you're going to see in the gameplay later when you have visitors come over they're going to wait inside your building because they think those big doors are the front door if we actually got rid of those and break off enough doors we can make your front door to your actual apartment be your front door and I might go ahead and do that for the second version because I think that would improve your gameplay quite a bit although you know maybe because this person's rich they want more privacy maybe they will meet you at the lobby door maybe you don't want them coming up to coming up to your floor um, I also just really wanted to decorate the lobby like apartment buildings aren't usually just decorated in real life but I really wanted us to have fun with the gameplay so you know I put some buildings in and because I was going over budget anyway I was like you know what this is a fancy apartment and I thought it would look quite nice so look I mean the walls and stuff you see there are from Eco Lifestyle but the actual structure you only need really get famous and city living um, although if you do have Eco Lifestyle it will, it will go a long way to making this easy for you to install Although you can use some custom content. I mean, like I have the temperature sensor from Seasons. You don't need Seasons to play this. And I'm just filling up some clutter in the kitchen. Look, as for the interior of the apartment, I'll let you redecorate that to your tastes. I think I was just so focused on making like the lobby and the common area look so convincing. I actually think the interior design of the apartment itself took the back seat. I was like, okay, it's the industrial look. And I kind of just went for that. But I'm super thrilled with downstairs, like how we have the bills and the letters. So when you go to like an apartment building, you always see like random letters on tables and stuff. Got like a notice board. We've got the mailboxes on a platform. I, I really like how this turned out. Um, I, I definitely want to do more versions of this. Those windows are like that because that's where the staircase is. But because you know there's windows, I wanted there to be windows. So we're just going to use some debug to uh, hide that. A bit of some plants. But I even love the bins at the back. Like I think it's so convincing. It looks so cool. And I'm very happy. You know, one thing you could do is if you wanted roommates for maybe a story based gameplay, you could probably build a second apartment and just lock the door for your own apartment so that the roommate could never get into it and have them rent out another. You could totally do that. Maybe like your Sims a landlord, they own the building, very you know crazy rich Asians type of thing. And then all I'm really kind of doing right now is just make the outside look good because obviously I mean, it was quite a challenging build. This took me like three hours to do. And I know it's not much to show for it, but a lot of it was just about making sure that the decorations on the outside looked convincing. Like you have like the subway chairs and you know, you have like all these other things to make it look like it's an apartment. My favorite thing is that it really does blend into Samai Shuno, which is where we ultimately put it. It really does blend in. Another great thing about this building, at nighttime it lights up. That's what's great about these live edit objects is that they change at nighttime. So that actually excuses us for building everything in one block on the floor your apartment's in because usually you'd be like, well, at night time, my light should be on. But because you can see the lights come from this fake building, it's very convincing. And then I decided just to make it look really modern and I put in like this back area. So if you have university or eco lifestyle, you could put like a bicycle rack there for your sim. I think that would look really cool because it's like very metropolitan. I think it would look great in Samai Shuno. I put in this like live debug fence. Is that from debug? Oh no, that's actual real money. I'm sorry to this man. Uh, I guess for my cheaper starter home version, I'm gonna get more creative with debug. And like those are just chairs you'd see outside of an apartment building because they're typically like the smoking area. Uh, at least in Europe, I don't know what it is like in America. Maybe you can smoke inside of a buildings in America. But yeah, I really like how it looks. I got rid of one tree. Um, did I get rid of? I did, yes. That looks really awesome. Like, I'm so happy with how this turned out. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it, but I pulled it off. I think I did go into YouTube after, and I think someone else has already done this before, but I don't know if someone's used this exact building. I think I just saw the opportune moment because we can now uh, alt-click the doors and windows, and I was like, I can make this look good. 
So, and what I really like about the ground floor then is because you have the back door to where the bins are, when your sim goes downstairs, they won't just go outside. Like you'll actually see them go through the like the lobby and through the uh, the back door at the front of the ground floor. Like it's very interactive. Like that's what I love about this is that like it's gonna feel good to play. And I swear you're actually gonna have a lot of fun playing in this lot. It's not one of those things where you download and you're like, oh, that's cool. Like I see what you did there. Like you can genuinely have a lot of fun playing in this. And uh, that's what I'm most excited about is that personally, even I'm gonna play in this. Like it's super cool. And actually, I never used to live in that part of Samai Shuno, uh, which you see right here, but you know, it works. So now we're getting to the screenshots. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Please download it from the gallery. My username is LC Insights IE, description down below. It looks good, right? Like it looks like an apartment building, got the fire escape, like it makes sense with your stairs because you know, a building has a fire escape. You can't be just an elevator. And your sims may be just a bit active and they want to, uh, you know, they want to walk. And uh, that's the bathroom, the bedroom, you know, like it's a nice modern contemporary look. It fits so well in Samai Shuno. That's why I re was really happy with it. This is me showing you gameplay. I wanted to show you how easy it is to zoom the camera in. And that's very playable. Like it, it is very playable. I put a little baby Yoda in there. And as you can see, it's really easy to play around the apartment building because I've moved everything in by one square. So that, you know, the building's not always gonna be popping up. Like it's really easy for you to maneuver around. Like you can see me panning the camera around. It's easy for you to play in this apartment, which is I'm, I'm so happy about. I think we're coming to the end of the video. If you do like the video, do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you tune in for future uploads. This is the one thing. The visitors will wait downstairs because I think that's the front door. It's my next build. I'm going to get rid of those doors and just have the fake live edit object doors. But like, it looks good. They will come up to your apartment, by the way. They, they, they'll come in. They want to use your laptop. Be sure to lock the laptop. Damn Sims. But uh, yeah, it works really well. And I was super happy with how it turned out. And thank you guys all so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.